At $10, the KZZS3 is hard to beat in terms of sound quality and comfort. The shell resembles the design and fit of the in-ear stage diver range of IEMs. Keeping the price low, they come in a plastic shell with large corny wooding designs indicating the left and right sides. The cable is also bare minimum, a super plated copper wire in transparent sleeve. The material is more like tin plated copper for this price point and they oxidize to green very easily. The shell part line is in a peculiar shape and there is a tiny base port hidden along it. Our experience with cheap budget options is that they are not designed to be repaired. True enough, the shell of the ZS3 is glued together permanently and not along the whole shell, so it is still possible to open them up without damaging the shell. To open the shell, we have to use a sharp penknife blade to first loosen and split the flattest part of the part line and then run the gap along with our fingernails. The shell will come right off and we can see the interior in full glory. The faceplate portion is empty and boring, but we can take note of the large amount of negative space in it. On the main housing, we find the female connector, the 8mm dynamic driver, and the sound tube connecting the driver sound port to the nozzle. We also notice that the driver and connector is housed and glued neatly in the bracket on the shell. This aids the assembly of the IEM and ensures little variations in production error. The bracket holding the driver is about 10mm wide and you could sort them out in a DIY attempt for an upgrade. Or you can remove it all together and put in multiple balance armature drivers. The size is similar to the stage diver range and you should be able to put in at least 4 drivers. The nozzle dust cover can be removed with a needle and we found a low density foam hiding inside acting as a sound damper. So in conclusion, the KZZS3 is a very cost efficient travel earphone and is also a highly moldable set of shells should you want to use them for a DIY build or as a testing shell.